Welcome everybody, Film Fan 108 here, and you know, when I did my Dollar Tree out and about video, which you guys can catch on the channel if you haven't already, I got some really great comments and feedback on that video talking about the finds that I, you know, showed you guys and the video, and that you guys told me that there's some really great finds that I can get or I can look into at thrift stores. And I thought to myself, I said, okay, that's an interesting thing. I'm going to try to actually go and do a video going to some of the thrift stores in my area and seeing the kind of stuff that I can find. So uh, come along with my video where I go to various thrift stores, checking out the media that they have. And we are at our first location, Goodwill. So let's go in, see what the Goodwill has, and... See what kind of cool, interesting media we'll find in this video, guys. Let's get going. All right, guys, we're in the section here over at Goodwill, and this is all that they have here for media here at this good Goodwill, guys. Holy shit. Yeah, there's not much here, guys, for media that they have. I don't know, is this the regular thing? Does Goodwill's usually... Is this all usually Goodwills have? I, I don't know. Um, look at what they got here. Um, old Singing in the Rain DVD. Okay. Um, let's see. What is this here? Um, seven Days, Seven Nights. Very good mo movie. Uh, I believe Anne Heche before she went lesbian, I believe. Um, I don't know whether Harrison Ford turned her lesbian, but, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, ooh. God, there's not much here, guys. There really isn't. I kind of wish I could show you more, but... Hustin' over. What, what is Grey Owl? What, what, is, what is that? Uh, that one. Holy shit, I have never heard of this movie. Grey Owl with Pierce Brosnan. Uh, from the producer of Gandhi? Is he supposed to... Is Pierce Brosnan supposed to be a, an Indian in this movie? Special edition? Uh, a man hiding from the past, a hero fighting for the future. I do not know what this movie is, guys. Holy shit, look at the special features here. Damn. Shorts. Wow, man, that is crazy. Richard Attenborough directed this. I do not know about this one, guys. If you guys know anything about Grey Owl, let me know. God, that's weird. I have never heard of this one before in my life. Swear to God. Uh, Grey Owl. Um, hmm. Season of the X-Files. Okay. Oh, well. So, so, somebody... Oh, somebody drops something. I don't know what the hell they drop, but whatever. I'm not even going near that. Uh, let's see. Oh. The Postman. A real weird piece of shit movie. I think Waterworld is better than this movie. I don't know. Kevin Costner was shit. Uh, let's see. Love Actually, Santa Claus 2, Wimbledon, Honeybee. I don't even know about this movie. Uh, James Avery, Honeybee? She's sweet as honey but stings like a bee. What the, what the fuck is this? I have no idea what the hell this movie is. Uh, Honeybee is an action drama with a dash of humor. Uh, never heard of this title either, guys. Huh, Honeybee. And it, it, it's, it's, it's sealed, actually. It's completely sealed, so there is no, actually, it's not open. I don't know if this is worth any money. If you guys know, let me, let me know if it's worth any money. Never heard of the title. Hmm. Not that. Ugh, what a piece of shit movie this is. God. Uh, avoid this one with all cause, guys. Um. Circle of Friends. I think I heard about this movie, Circle of Friends, with Minnie Driver and Chris O'Donnell. I did. I, I, I think I might have even seen this movie. 
Yeah, yeah, it is good. Yeah, if I if I remember it, I think it is really really good. Circle of Friends, I haven't seen this on the DVD market in a while. Circle of Friends, that's really cool. Circle of Friends. Um, let's see what else they got here. They got uh, the Getaway. Ooh, very cool. This special uncut unrated version. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's uncut or unrated about this. I don't know. I like Baldwin, Kim Basinger, Michael Myers, and James Woods. Huh. Guys, let, let me know what's uncut and unrated in this. Is it like a minute worth of footage, or is it like more? I love the getaway, but I don't know actually... I don't think I've ever seen the uncut or unrated version. Oh. Let, let me know. Uh, let's see. Oh, God. Of course this would be... Of course this would be at the uh the goodwill jeez what a piece of shit movie and do you guys remember back in the day with dvds there used to be the full screen editions yeah there used to be the widescreen and the full screen editions back in the in the day they, they don't do that anymore but back in the day they used to be so you had to make sure that you bought the widescreen edition because if you didn't buy the widescreen one um you'd actually be be screwed you'd kind of get home and be pissed you're like god damn it i wish i bought the widescreen version I remember that back in the day. That was frustrating as shit. But yeah, this movie's a piece of shit, guys. Um, a hundred girls. What the hell is this? Jonathan Tucker, Emmanuel. Wow, interesting cast. I've never heard of One Hundred Girls either. <laughs> okay, his pants are completely down. Ninety-nine girls don't stand a chance. Uh, okay, that could be cool. I don't know. It's, it could be interesting. I've never heard Catherine Heigl is in this. Probably a very young Catherine Heigl if I'm... If I'm, Yeah, she's young. She's young in this movie, man. Yeah, I never heard of this one. If you guys have, let me know. Um, Four Musketeers. Never heard of Four Musketeers at all. I don't know much about that. Um... Stick It, I do, I do remember, I, I believe I do remember Stick It, but it wasn't really that good of a movie. It's hip, it's hot, and it's a whole lot of fun, okay. Wow, back, back in the day, so, you know, it's crazy, some of these movies that don't really deserve, like, a lot of special features, they got them, and you kept on wondering why the fuck those ones got special editions, and a lot of special features, and the other ones didn't, like this, look, look at this. All the shitload of special features this has. That's ridiculous, guys. God. For 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 stick it, right? Oh Jesus. Then they got Steve McQueen Layman's. I don't think I've ever heard of this movie either. Layman's. I don't think I've heard of this movie. But I do like Steve McQueen, even though I've never heard of this movie. Layman's. Um oh, oh. enough said about that movie. Uh, let's see what else they got. And they got a bunch of these sort of big box releases. Are, are like big box a thing still? Do, do do people pay a lot for these? I don't know. Art from Home, Napoleon, Old Yeller, Little. They got the Parodying Case with Greg Gregory Peck. I don't think I've ever heard of that m movie ever. Hmm, that's interesting. Hmm. Uh, that they got um, Music Man. You'll be wiggling. What? What the fuck is this? God, all the weird shit that actually came on VHS back in the day, guys. Holy fucking shit! I don't know. Not even something close that I would buy. Whatever. Um, the Book of Pooh here, Angels in the Outfield, Return of Jafar, what the fuck is this? Passport to Paris? Oh, with the, with the Olsen sisters? Good God, man. I actually remember, I think I've only seen one big movie with them, and I think that was like New York Minute, I think I saw with them. They go to France in this one. They used to be huge. They used to like sell out. I think they, they did like concerts and they sold out things. And now, and now I just, I think they're like, 
I think they're married to like millionaires or something, I think. But yeah, I don't, I've never heard of this movie and nor, and nor am I interested in seeing it, guys. Um, rending story. That. Ah, very classic one. And they have a few more classic ones over here. They got Jungle. Ah, that's uh, that that that's like the 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 live action one, I think. Yeah, it's the live action one. Oh, that could be that could be cool. I actually know they're actually um, bringing that that Jungle Book movie to uh, to Netflix, which could be really cool. Those Grand Adventure. Um, Robin Hood. Huh. I mean, some interesting titles here, but not a ton of selection. Oh, and I will admit one other thing. Uh, they do have some um, TV box sets up here as well. And um, if you guys are a fan of some lesbian action, they have uh, The L Word. Quite a few seasons of The L Word, guys. <laughs> Just so you know. Um, other than that, there's not a huge amount of selection here, guys. Um, all right. Interesting titles, though. Let's head out. Man, a lot of really weird and bizarre titles that I had never heard before. And a lot of, like, really, like, crappy titles that you kind of expect to be at a Goodwill. So, I mean, there was some really interesting stuff there. Not a lot of selection, though, but I don't know if that's the norm. Is that the norm at good Goodwills? Do they just not have a lot of selection? Or is it just, like, certain Goodwills just don't have stuff, others have a lot? I don't know. I mean, we'll go to more and sort of check it out, but... All the interesting stuff you find at a Goodwill, even just out of the blue, this poster for My Fair Lady, just hanging around here at the Goodwill. I don't know. Weird stuff that you can find. All right, let's head to the uh, next location and see what else they got, guys. All right, everybody, onward to the second location here, and that is none other than the thrifty shopper here so we're gonna go into this place and we're actually gonna see what kind of cool interesting unique oddball titles they have and um hopefully some cool stuff we're checking out let's head in all right guys we are in here and they have some media up on top here few interesting titles that I can see one that definitely belongs here oh yeah this is this piece of shit yeah definitely belongs in here guys um yeah, let's see what else they got here um Billy Boot Camp oh. uh, let's see what else they got this huge what is this? Ah, this huge VHS special edition release of Meet Joe Black here. R remember they used to have these, these big special edition VHS sets for like, I think like Titanic and everything like that. They used to have these big old like commemorative sets. And they even had like special features on them. It was just craziness. It's craziness guys, they had those. They have one here for, ah, uh, for Braveheart? I guess they did one for Braveheart too, wow. Did that, uh, wow, they have a VHS of Dances with Wolves, which is completely sealed. That's very cool. They got that too. Uh, wow, a bunch of VHS here, guys. They have, what else they got? Millennium 2000? Incredible moments from the worldwide celebration. Oh yes, the, the, the big fear over uh, Y2K. Y you guys remember that? There was this whole big like controversy. Oh my God, all the computers are gonna stop everything. I guess not, but whoa. Only for, I believe 99, 99 cents. Lord of the Rings, Few Good Men, Hunter Red October, Lethal Weapon 3. Oh, they got one here for Pearl Harbor as well. One for Pearl Harbor and 
They also have one for Pearl Harbor. It's it's sealed. Ooh, this is sealed. This is the 60th anniversary commemorative edition widescreen. Wow, this is sealed. This has got to go for a pretty penny, I think. Right? I would think it would. I don't know if any of these big like VHS collector sets are worth money, guys. Definitely let me know. Um, they also got one for Gettysburg here. Gettysburg right there here. Gettysburg, they got one for Cats. The musical Cats guy, I, I remember that. God. Huh, Cats. They got Jesus. You gotta have Jesus. In, in in your thrifty shopper come on guys all these weird VHS's Jesus really okay they got they got big big box ones of Jack Frost On 34th Street they miss Oh my God, I'll be home for Christmas with Jonathan Taylor Thomas. You you remember when he was doing movies? He was like big and like he was on like that Teen Beat stuff and everything. Wow, that's weird, guys. God, I hadn't seen that one in ages. That one, they miss, Land Before Time. Yeah, not much else here, guys. Very little here at this thrifty shopper, unfortunately. We found a lot better selection over at uh, the Goodwill, but eh, it was worth it to try to at least check it out. Well, let's uh, head out of here, guys. So this place was different than the other Goodwill because they had more of these like big VHS like box sets, like those special editions ones, which I haven't seen in like a long time, guys. I haven't seen those ones in ages. So that's really weird. Even a couple of them that are sealed. I don't know if they're worth money. I don't know if they're like go for high price. Definitely let me know. But yeah, it was really, really interesting here. Even though there wasn't much media, there was still some cool stuff to look at. Let's try to head to at least one more location before we finish the video to see if there's any more cool stuff out at at least one more thrift store. Let's head to the next location, guys. All right, everybody, one last location. <laughs> And that is none other than another Goodwill. So we are gonna go into this Goodwill and check out what they have here. In fact, this is only one of two Goodwills that I have in my area. The one we saw at the beginning of the video and now this one here. So let's go in and hopefully see if this thrift store has some really cool physical media to check out. Let's head in guys. Alright guys, we are in here at the Goodwill and they definitely have a lot more selection than the other places that we've been to. And over here, yeah, let's see what we can start to find here. Uh, they got, ooh, Stephen King's It. Very nice here. Uh, very, very cool. I kind of wish that this would come out in some sort of like special edition release or something. I kind of wish it would, but... I don't know, I, I'm hoping maybe Screen Factory one day can release this. Still a really great, really great movie, man. Tim Curry makes this movie. Awesome, awesome movie. What else, what else we got here? We got the best of Adam Sandler, Saturday Night Live. Let's see. Um, White Chicks definitely belongs here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, Biodome. Very nice. I don't really have a love for Biodome like everybody else does, but it's not not bad. I've seen better Poly Shore movies, but I understand the love for it. I won't hate on the love for it. Trust me. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, the Sentinel, which. I don't think I ever saw. I heard about the Sentinel, but I've never seen it. Hmm. Could be good. I do like Michael Douglas and Kiefer Sutherland. Could be cool. 
Uh, oh, they got they got a double feature of Four Christmas and Fred Claus. No, thank you. They got the ref. Ooh, very interesting. I I like the ref. Another one that deserves a special edition release. Does it doesn't really get it? I don't think we'll ever get it with the whole like Kevin Spacey thing now, but it is a good movie though. Uh, let's see here. Ugh, that shitty Total Recall movie. God, what a piece of shit this thing is. Uh, oh God, terrible. Uh, Solaris with George Clooney. Eh, not a big fan, fan of the movie. Uh, I got stuff here. Kung Pao, Enter the Fist. This is one ridiculous movie, guys. If you have not ever seen this movie, uh, at least watch it once. It is one weird and fucked up movie, man. It 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 really is. It definitely a parody, but one like like almost like what the fuck parody. That's weird. That one. Let's see what else they got here. They got. Oh man. Heartbreak Hotel. I haven't seen this movie in years. I remember loving this movie. Oh man. Kidnapping Elvis Presley. Did I, I remember this? David Keith played I think he remember if I remember correctly, he played a great El, Elvis Presley. Wow, man, I haven't seen this in years. That's really cool. Wow, man. God, I love that. Uh, let's see what else they got. Very early Adam Sandler going all overboard. Man, I haven't seen this one in ages e e either. This is one that barely anybody ever talks about, this this movie. Well, it's kind of early Adam Sandler. I mean, it's good, but it's not, you know, like some of his, his better stuff. Punky Brewster, eight complete episodes. What? Wait a minute, wait, wait, what is this? I used to love Punky Brewster back, back in the day. See, Punky Brewster used to be my jam, man. I, I used to love that shit. I don't think they ever came out with a complete series set of Punky Brewster, unless I'm wrong. Definitely let me know. What else I got? The Good German, which was decent. Decent movie. Decent movie they got. Uh, let's see here. We actually get to see some Blu-rays here. They got Star Trek. And they also have the Social Network. Oh. Hmm. The only two Blu-rays I think we've seen today. Uh, they also have Stealth. I remember when this movie came out. This movie, it's not a very good movie. It's about this sort of killer um, aircraft. And they got to try to stop it. I, I, eh, I didn't really care for it. It wasn't really good, and it's Josh Lucas was trying to be the leading man. It wasn't really working for him, and this is one of Jamie Foxx really crappier m movies. Uh, I didn't care for stealth. Let's see here. Mm, Wings, which is a promo disc. Um, wasn't this supposed to be like the next Cars, and basically it flopped or something? I think it flopped. Yeah, I think it did. Wings. Uh, let's damage damages. I spy. Rent. Which I got gotta admit to you guys that I really, I like the play better than I do the movie. The movie didn't do much for me. It didn't really love lo love the movie all that much. Um. Meet the Spartans. What a what a shit fest this movie is. I'm sorry, guys. These, these these type of movies. The only one I ever liked was not another teen movie. That's it. These these, these ones are garbage. Uh, let's see here. Oh man. Wrong wrong turn five. Holy shit. I think I might have stopped at three. I don't think I ever saw five. Uh, didn't they make like six of these? Yeah, they, they've made a shitload. And I heard a rumor that they might want to make a remake. And everything's getting a remake, guys. What the what the fuck, you know? But I, I, why not wrong turn, right? Uh, let's see what else they got. Fantastic. 
Lou, the making of Fantastic Four. Yeah, I used to, when I used to own this movie back in the day, I used to have this disc. This making of Fantastic Four disc. This was actually a really cool disc that came with it. Of like the making of it and everything. And I actually really liked it. The the exclusive footage and everything. That was one of my first times ever really watching like a big like making of thing. I, I thoroughly loved it. I can't believe I have this. That's awesome. Uh, almost with a Zohan. Not good Adam Sandler. I, I, I don't think so. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Weekend at Bernie's. Love it. Again, why doesn't this have a special edition release? I, I, I would buy this in a heartbeat. Very cool. Very cool. Let's see what else. Uh, yes, goes west. P.S. I love you in the lake house. Not a fan of P.S. I love you, but I actually really do love the lake house, actually. I actually really do. S surprisingly. Um... And they also have here, they have, uh, let's see, ooh, V for Vendetta, one of my favorite films of all time, love v, v for Vendetta, that's a great movie. Anger Management, Shallow Hal. Ooh, interesting. The man who started all the legendary Bruce Lee. Ooh, very nice here. God, I don't think I've ever seen this DVD before. Very interesting. Huh. Ah. Ugh. Less said about that, the better. Chasing li li Liberty? What's this? Oh, yeah, I heard about that one. Chasing Liberty. Uh, Dead Man's Chest. The Siege, which I remember actually liking The Siege. I remember it got a lot of controversy back in the day, but I actually really did love, love, love this movie. Very underrated. Very underrated. Um, snakes on a Plane. Get these motherfucking snakes off my motherfucking plane. And it comes with her with the slip. Yeah. And I like the slip, very cool. Let's see that. Uh, Club Dread. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, classic. This needs a collector's edition as well. And you wanna speak about some, something, man? I miss Rick Moranis. Man, I, I know Rick Moranis no longer does the acting thing, but I really m miss him a lot. I really do, man. Classic, classic movie. What is this one? School of Life. What the hell is this one, man? I think when when we did the um, the Dollar Tree when they had that DVD there of uh, Ryan Reynolds one, I didn't know about this. Is another one, School of Life. I have never heard of School of Life, guys. I don't know a single thing about School of Life. Another Ryan Reynolds movie that I don't know of. You think you know everything from Ryan Reynolds and then suddenly you find a movie at the thrift store that just completely like like knocks you off your socks. Okay. It looks like this sort of kids movie, but I don't know. Let let me know. School of Life. Oh, uh, let's see here. Because I love you, Hot Fuzz. Let's see here. Collector's edition of Field of Dreams. Okay. The Five Heartbeats. Oh, I remember this movie. Yeah, I remember watching this movie. This was a good movie back in the day. Yeah, I remember this. If you love The Temptation, Four Times, Wilson Pickett. Yeah, this was a good movie. All, all about like like this this band and yeah yeah definitely a lot of great music in here. Yeah, I really love this movie. That's a good movie, man. I haven't seen this one in ages. One. Silverado back in the day. Oh man, I I used to love this movie. Look 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 at all the actors, man. That's a lot of actors here. Wow, man, that's so cool. Silverado. I haven't seen that in ages either. God, I remember really lo loving that movie. And then I'm seeing all over here they got all these sort of Disney clamshells. Like, 
shitload of Disney clamshells, guys. My God, man. I think this is the most Disney clamshells we've seen here. And they've also got all these other ones here. They've got, like, the Disney Cruise Line vid videos. A 1999 vacation video for Disney. All these weird stuff. They've got, like, Mulan and Toy Story and Ichabod. The Three Musketeers. Oh, God, I remember this movie. Shit, I love this movie, too. That movie. Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. Jesus. The Walt Disney Story? I don't think I've ever heard of the Walt Disney Story. Huh, I got that. Flubber. Fantastic. I watched that when I was a kid. I love that one. Blank Check back in the day. Damn. Mighty Joe Young. Inspector Gadget. Damn, man. They, uh, geez, they got it all, I'm telling you. So dear to the heart. And my heart. God, I've never, I've never heard of that either. Uh, they've got a lot of really wonderful selection here, guys. Way better than any of the other places we have seen today. Wow, well, very cool selection with what they got, guys. I'm definitely impressed here. Ooh, a lot of really cool selection they got. Definitely were worth it, guys. So, it's actually really cool and fascinating to go to these places because, you know, as I showed in, in the video here, sometimes you're going to get, like, that has a lot of selection and other places that have really low amount of selection. And here I was really pleasantly surprised. There's a lot of Disney clamshells here. A lot of interesting, older, high titles, a couple movies I'd never heard of. I've come to find out if you want to find like really unique and movies that you've never heard of, definitely go thrift store shopping because boy, you can find some really fascinating and interesting titles. I'm telling you guys, it is very fascinating. I love taking a look at all this stuff. And overall, I thought the stores had some really cool selection, some really unique, interesting stuff I hadn't seen in a long time, guys. Uh, so let's head to the car and finish the video, guys. This was a very cool trip, indeed. All right, guys, back in the car now from doing the thrift shopping. And I was really pleasantly surprised by what I found at these thrift stores. I wasn't expecting a lot. And yeah, there wasn't a lot of great selection really compared to probably other people that do these videos. But unfortunately, that's what you get. Some areas have more, some areas have less, as you saw in the video. But I thought there was really fascinating stuff, whether it was the Disney clamshells or whether it was those sort of VHS box collections that I hadn't seen in a really long time. A lot of movies I had never heard of. Definitely interesting when you do these videos. And this was definitely one of those experimental videos I wanted to try. I'm glad I got to do it, even though you know, I didn't get to find as much as I really wanted to. And unfortunately, I didn't pick up anything. I was going to pick up the Heartbreak Hotel DVD there, but what ended up happening was is that when I opened up the disc, basically um, there was all kinds of scratches and really bad sort of um, all kinds of like messed up prints on it, and I just decided to pass on it. I. I just, I didn't want to buy a disc that I couldn't play, and I know a lot of times with these older DVDs, once there's like a few good scratches on it, it's not going to play anymore, so unfortunately I passed up. That was probably the one DVD I really wanted, but I just, I just passed up on it. I'm, I'm going to wait till I find a better copy, or, uh, you know, who knows? I mean, maybe they'll come out with a special edition of it. Would be pretty cool, right? But yeah, let me know if you guys have found any great sort of selection at any Goodwills or any thrift stores, any great finds. Definitely let me know if you like the video and if there's anything that I missed. If there is, maybe I'll go back and check it out, maybe give it a chance and buy it. Definitely let me know. And again, I hope you guys have enjoyed these sort of really cool, interesting out and abouts that I've done, whether it was the Dollar Tree one or this one. They're experimental. I kind of wanted to try them to see if you guys might enjoy them. If you definitely want me to do more like this, definitely let me know. 
And I just want to thank all of my subscribers, all of the great feedback and the comments that I've gotten. You guys are beyond awesome. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it so much. Every video, I'm just amazed by, by you guys with all the love. And I love the Film Fan Nation. You guys rock. And if you definitely want to be a part of the Film Fan Nation, if you have a love and a passion for movies and physical media, definitely hit subscribe. We love to have you on the channel. And keep up to date with all the videos that I'm doing through my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram, FilmFan108. Keep up to date with all I'm doing. And I will see you guys back next time for another Out and About video. Take care, guys, and happy hunting.